It's Natasha here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at my Mikasa Ackerman cosplay, which I'm going to be re debuting at Ottawa Comic Con, which is tomorrow. And I am absolutely nowhere near done, which means I'm going to be putting on an all nighter tonight, which is going to be a ton of fun. Right now, I'm going to give you a quick look at the unpainted 3D maneuver gear. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to ask all of you to ignore. My adorable little penguin in the background. This vlog is not about him, it's about this guy. I've actually attempted to make the 3D Maneuver gear once before. Um, I did it with cardboard and um, it looked okay, uh, but it wasn't as stable obviously as I wanted it to be, so I kind of took apart the cardboard, um, the cardboard version and I kind of just used that version to trace out little bits for this one. So here we have the back, which would hold the gas uh, for the 3D maneuver gear. Basically, this whole thing is made out of primarily foam board. I cut out little pieces, 16 of these guys, and then 16 of these guys, in order to make this little cylindrical bit. Um, and then on the side, you can see nice rough pattern. I'm really bad at measuring and doing things precisely. I'm much more of a kind of let's edit this as we go kind of person so that's why it looks a little rough but hey that's the way I like to do things if that's not your cup of tea that's okay too all right um oh yes this part um I ran out of cardboard so I just used the cover of a sketchbook an old sketchbook that I had um in order to make this little cylindrical bit so that is little gas bit um I kind of took bits from the manga and the anime version of the 3D maneuver gear, so it's kind of a hybrid of both. So here are the bits that are going to be a strap bleh, that are going to be strapped to my legs. Sorry. Um, we've got the tank here, um, the little bits strapping it down. Box in the anime, these would be your backup blades, and the handle would come off, and then. Um, yeah, this would detach and you'd be able to attach it onto these backup blades um, in case this part got rough, but obviously these are not backup blades. They're just little bits of um, the foam board glued onto the bottom of the holes. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. Here's the sword. I'm enjoying this a lot because this is probably the most ambitious thing. Not just the sword, I mean the whole thing, but um, this bit right here was really hard to carve. Um, as you can see, it's kind of rough. I might try to sand it down a bit before I paint, but we'll see. Time is of the essence here, so I kind of have to hurry up a bit. I can fix it later. It's not a big deal. Um, but here's the handle. And I also kind of cut into the blade a bit to make those uh, perforated edges. Oh, they're on both sides on the side a bit better. This is the right hand sword, um, and it slots in just like that. Lovely. Um, and this is basically the same thing. So yes, left hand, right hand, looking cool, looking good. I'm actually really, really impressed um, with what I've done so far. And yeah, here we go. Do a little overview. unpainted gear. Um, I'm actually going to hop outside and spray paint this baby. <laughs> 